I'm gonna show you what I use to level my lawn and how much material you specifically need for your lawn. There are a couple of must-have tools that you need for any leveling project. This is a 40-inch leveling rake that I bought online. And first of all, let me just address the elephant in the room and say that this is a very expensive rake. But in my opinion, if you're gonna put in the hard work, the blood, the sweat, the tears, then it's definitely worth the investment. And it's a rather low cost if you ask me for such a big project. This specific rake does an awesome job at making your lawn as smooth as a pool table. So if you're interested, I'll throw some links in the description and you can check it out. For this specific leveling project, I'm gonna use a combination of sand and soil. Sand is gonna be my primary leveling agent and the soil is gonna be a good bed for me to lay my seeds into so I can have some good organic matter in the, in the mix. Keep in mind, if you plan on using soil, you're definitely gonna to have to use a sifter. This is the soil screen that I like to use. I made it using some one by sixes and 23 gauge hardware cloth with a 1 4th inch opening. All right, get ready. Now we're gonna, now I'm gonna show you how I screen my soil. to add about one cubic foot of soil at a time and then break up the big pieces with my hand and then sift it back and forth. Once the soils went through that 1 4th inch screen and you take a look at the texture, it's so light and fluffy and it's perfect for leveling your lawn. Since I'm seeding, this will be the perfect bed for me to sow my seeds into. Now I'm going to add one 50 pound bag of sand. You can use play sand. Most people recommend masonry sand, but whatever you do, make sure that you don't use all purpose sand because the pebbles in there are too large and it could potentially ruin your mower. Once I add the sand, I mix it up by hand, I make the drop and then I start the next batch. These Gorilla Carts right here, they are a must have for any renovation project. I highly recommend them because if you're gonna be sifting soil, they have a nice flat top so you can move the sifter back and forth easily. And if not, even with sand, rather than using a wheelbarrow and lugging around hundreds of pounds of sand, you can easily roll it around. I'm telling you, this stuff is top notch. I think it's safe to say that the days of the wheelbarrow are donezo. Deuces. Assalamu alaikum. Remember this, if you're real mowing, use a 1 4th inch screen. If you're not real mowing, then you can get away with a half an inch screen. The smallest screen that my local dirt distributor offers is a half an inch. So just keep that in mind if you're leveling your lawn, because if you're real mowing, you're gonna have to get a soil screen that's 1 4th inch, so you can make the particles more fine and you can get a more complete level surface. In order to cover your lawn a half an inch at 1,000 square feet, you're gonna need one and a half cubic yards of material. That's for sand, soil, or a combination of both. It's gonna be one and a half cubic yards per thousand square feet to cover a half an inch. This is very important. For example, if you wanna level your yard that's 3,000 square feet at a half an inch, you're gonna need four and a half cubic yards of material to do that. I'm sure most of you watching this are gonna be doing a considerable amount of leveling compared to me. So I would definitely reach out to your dirt suppliers, try to find the best price, but not only that, also try to find who has the smallest screens available. All right, it's getting dark right now. I just put all these piles of dirt on my lawn, so I'm gonna knock them down with my landscape rake, let them dry overnight, and then I'll get to leveling tomorrow morning. All right, it's the next day, and I'm ready to get to level. This is video five in my renovation series. So if you're interested to see how I got here, click this playlist right here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you want to see more Lawn Madness, click that subscribe button. And with that, this is George from Princess Bucks.